All right, my friends, do you think that the closure of Firewalk Studios today sent shivers up BioWare's spine? I kind of do. And, you know, I think this kind of sends shivers up the whole industry spine. And to be completely honest with you guys, most of the projects that are pretty close to being launched, you know, obviously like Dragon Age Felguard and some of the other stuff, there's so much toxicity surrounding all of these developers now. It's like they can't even sneeze without people literally jumping to conclusions to just completely bash these games before they even come out. And if you've been if you've been at Frog Boy X1 Gaming, if if I've been the channel that you've been watching for a while, you know that like sometimes I feed into this crap, but but 90% of the time like I do because I I I I have the same feelings that you guys do. Like I do. Like I'm a gamer. Like I'm passionate about video games. I'm passionate about playing you know these games and and like man politics has been so polarizing for for so many years now that like having this stuff like injected into your games it, like like the place that you go to get away from all of that it's like they're invading your space with that so i'm with you gamers right there i'm 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 literally right there with you guys like i don't like the crap but i also don't want to not play video games like i struggle with this it's like a battle like take banisher's ghost of new eden um obviously that comes out and it's got like the whole man hating type stuff in it you know what i mean it's just like the the complete disregard for men and they, they treat them bad whatever and and like that was such a turnoff that i quit playing that game at about five hours in but then like four four or five months later i go back to it and i finish the game and without going through that whole game my friends and experiencing every single bit of it and all the all the ghost stories and everything that was in there i wouldn't have come away i i came away feeling a lot better about that overall experience because it was it was good and it was and it was and it was original you know what i mean like the the whole like going through and like banishing the ghost or choosing to like like the story and the 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 consequences of of your actions that felt good that felt fun that felt unique and i was like gosh this game is actually pretty damn good but you know i don't think that one got i don't think that one got torn apart as much as like the newer stuff is right now i don't think the whole sweet baby ink thing was i think that was just right around the time that it was starting to get started but now it's like so ramped up you've got so many grifters just jumping on the bandwagon for all of this stuff it's like i go through like i i watch i watch this one from endymion he's actually okay I don't, I don't really mind endymion he's he's pretty cool i like that guy um it, it it's cool like i i do watch some of this stuff now because then when i actually buy the games and i review it then i can be like nah man you know what i mean like i'm i'm the kind of person that's going to buy dragon age i'm the kind of person that's gonna buy these games because i like playing video games and i want to explore them and I, and i want to have fun and i want i want to experience those for myself so like i still enjoy playing video games i am not at a point yet in video games to where i'm to where i'm as cynical as the rest of the people that review them all the time like i still love video games and i still only buy and try the games that i actually want to play so i don't have as hard a time you know um like covering everything you know I, I don't go out of my way to try to cover stuff that i don't normally play if somebody offers me a key then i then i'll then i'll do like a first impressions video or something if it's a game that i don't play um but but i don't i don't go out of my way to try to trash that game and stuff like the games that i do want to play and the games that i do like and obviously I like dragon age being the 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 thing right now that everybody is like 100 percent gung-ho about going against and they're already walking away with a win now and especially now after firewalk studios just got shut down by sony these guys are feeling even more emboldened and man it's both of them it's it's not just the damn developers that are building this stuff and injecting the stuff into our games it's it's the other it's it's the guys going against them too like like it's like they're they're both so over the top that it's like 
Can't we just meet somewhere in the middle, man? Like, I'm perfectly okay with accepting diversity in games. I'm, I'm okay with a little bit of, you know, like like The Last of Us 2, right? You're, right? Write your gay characters like that. Write your gay characters like that. They don't sit there and talk about like they're, oh, you got to call me this, they, them, or any of that stuff. Leave that shit out of it. Leave that shit out of it. Just make the gay character. Make the gay character and have them do like like their things like they're living in real life i mean i mean like i get it maybe in some big cities people are walking around like no my pronouns are and this and that. like i get it maybe that does happen in real life but we don't need that in video games please guys like developers meet halfway i personally am okay with diversity i i i'm i'm, I'm great with that like i have zero like assassin's creed is one of my favorite franchises of all time and that game goes all over the freaking world and and it's like it, it's exciting i get to see a new culture i get to you know like when they did egypt of origins and then they did like the whole thing that like you can go through and and like do the scenic tour and like learn about ancient egypt and stuff like that um or when they did the same thing with with uh, you know like odyssey and stuff i love that i love those games because of that diversity like i i absolutely love that and you know, I, I do. I want more of that in my gaming. I, I do. I absolutely love that. But I want things to be like cultural rich instead of this, this, this trashy freaking American politics crap. Nobody cares about that shit, especially in video games. Leave that shit out and build a game, you know, like Awakening Number 9. I like that game. And I think a lot of the reason why I like that game is because of the cultural dichotomy diversity that that brought to the table and like being able to hear a different story about like creation and and all of the uh you know like the the floods and and and, and all of that stuff and they talk about like the younger dryas and you know like that was cool i i like that because you know these are things that are starting to come to to the mind and science and i love how the developers brought that in there you know talking about like the like the resets and you know like the cycles and stuff like that that, that keep happening and and like there's there's the unknown nine that, that like are there to try to stop it or prevent it. And they had to lie. It, it was cool. Like, I like that story, man. That, that like resonated with me to a point where I'm like, okay, man, this is cool. This is a good game, but nobody gave it a chance because they're too busy trying to get clicks for their damn channels to even take their freaking, to, to even try something, to even give it a try. Yeah obviously there's a whole bunch of stuff that i could have ran through that game and like picked out and been like oh yeah this is an issue this is an issue there's there's lots of stuff that i could have done to 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 do that but at the same time i wanted to be able to i wanted to be able to experience that game and and give you guys an honest opinion on it and i don't think that i i honestly kind of feel like dragon age i think i kind of feel like people are blowing this way out of proportion to be completely honest with you i i obviously we've seen the proof that that shit's in there that the non-binary and and all of that like we've seen that like we know that's there but then when you listen to like paul tassie he's like okay well somebody's probably gonna have a a, a problem with this quest line so maybe it's just tash's quest that we go through that quest and that's where all of that's at I can deal with that. Honestly, like I can deal with that. You know, if, if that's really what it is, is just a quest for a character in the game that's actually in the game. And like, I'm okay with Tash being, being, being a transgender. Like I'm okay with that. Like I don't care necessarily. Is it gonna affect like the overarching story of the whole freaking game? then then it would be a little bit different then it would be a little bit different then i would be like oh my gosh dude i don't want it to to like sit and like play this please don't let this be the whole story this is a fantasy world dragons and knights and, and you, you know what i mean like i that's when i would start to draw the line then i would be like no this is just trash but if it's just a story arc for a character for a side quest I'm okay with that. Like, I don't necessarily have a problem with them bringing diversity into these games. And, you know, because they're real people. They're real people out there that are making these games. And that's their life. That's their reality. That's what they are freaking living. And I'm like, I don't... I, I want to express myself. I express myself in everything that I do. I, ex I express my, my, you know, I, 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 I come across as... You know, like, I, I don't let somebody tell me that I can't express myself in what I want to create. And it's the same as them. They're like, look, man, I'm the one that's creating this game 
this is my idea this is what i want to do and and i'm like okay well let's let's check it out let's check it out bioware let's check it out i'll i'll, I'll see man if, if it if it like i mean obviously the 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 experience has already kind of been like ruined for a lot of people because it's there's been so much attention drawn to it but like to tell you the truth guys because i wasn't doing youtube or any of that shit when 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 last of us 2 came out i was like last of us 2 boom buying it sony pony i'm on it the first parties day one buy I'm, I'm buying it i went through that whole game and guess what none of that shit bugged me at all the abby i at first like i was i, I didn't like abby I didn't like Abby because of what she did to Joel. Like I, I hated Abby after that. I was like, "Are you freaking kidding me, man? This chick killed Joel." And then, and then, like I get, I get to the point where I'm playing as Abby, and seriously, like until I got to that freaking boss in the bottom of the freaking hospital, I didn't care about Abby at all. But then after that, for some reason, like her character clicked with me, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, dude, Abby is a freaking badass. I like Abby." I like her. I like her story. I I, I I liked the way that Neil Druckmann brought that together. And, it, and it's true because that is life. And it's like some people get impacted by the games they play. And it it does something to them. And they're like, whoa, you know, I felt that deeper meaning that Neil Druckmann and his team were trying to bring. And I was like, yeah, this is good. But then I looked around me on Twitter and everywhere else and everybody freaking out and everybody hating it. And I was like, dude, I actually like that story. It was, it was pretty cool. Like I hate the fact that Joel died because I love Joel, but I got to play as Ellie. I got to play as Abby. I got to, I got to enjoy two characters from two different perspectives from two different worlds in one game. And the culmination of that was like, wow, dude, like this was pretty cool. Like I liked that. And, and it's, it's cool to see them build these types of experiences and then and then like and then to just watch everybody tear it down around you and you're just like man I, I actually like that I thought it was good and then you're just like ah and then it makes you just not even care it's like why even be excited about this shit like everybody is out there with their own little agenda it's either the Xbox trying to tear it down because it's a PlayStation game or you know like the the super I don't like gay people you know or or whatever trying to tear it down it's like I I don't have a problem with gay people, period. Like, I don't. Like, if, if, if they exist on the same planet I do, I, I'm cool with that. I don't want that kind of shit around my children because they're young. They're kids. And I feel like it's our responsibility to protect our children. And when when this kind of stuff is in the games, then it's like, oh, I get it that it's like a medium or, or, a, or a mature rating and stuff like that. And I really do try to keep my kids, you know, away from, from that kind of stuff. I want their brains to mature. And, and then, you know, once they get to that age, then they can learn what they want to learn. Like, I'm not going to stop my kids from doing what they want to do. Like, uh, it, it, it's, it's, I mean, I'll try to guide them the best I can, but that's neither here nor there. But the, the, the fact of the matter is, is like, when you look at the writing for Tasha's story in Dragon Age, you know, and then you look at, and then you compare and contrast that to something like um, The Last of Us 2, it's like... It's like, whoa, man, what, what do we got like going on here to, to be able to like, it, it's, it's like, to me, it kind of just feels like lazy writing. It feels like it's lazy writing. I would like them to like go back and like rewrite that and react that out in a way that's not, that's not bringing today words into that. You know what I mean? Like it just kind of sounds out of place in it, and and it's kind of like, oh man, I don't want to deal with cringy speak. You know what I mean? Because then it just kind of seems cringy, um, especially if, if especially if you're somebody like me that just doesn't care about that stuff. That that, that, that yeah, that, that when people start talking that, I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna see you later. <laughs> Have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy. You know? I mean, I, I I I love humanity and I love other humans, and I do. I absolutely do want more diversity in our games, but I want. I want cultured, cultured diversity is what I want. I, 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 I absolutely want more representation of more cultures in our video games. And I'm going to call it cultures because we're all the damn human race. We're all one damn race. So I'm going to call it cultures. I would like to see more cultures. I've always been that kind of cultured person, you know? I mean, I want to see more of that. I, I want more of that expressed throughout games, but I want I, w I want things to be kind of like they were with badass characters. You know what I mean? Not like, not, yeah, I, I want like, I want like badass male characters. I want, you know, the, the women to, 
to look good not, not not to be like necessarily sex symbols or anything anymore because i i do kind of feel like there's a line that you got to kind of draw you know in terms in terms of that i'm not saying that i don't i i, I don't i i wouldn't want game developers to make that you know if that's what they want to make if they want to make stellar blades make stellar blades but definitely you, you don't have to make the the female characters ugly you i mean make them attractive but yeah keep clothes on them and stuff like i'm okay with that like hi hi you know yeah i, I don't know it's crazy i know the people look at me up like what are you? i'm like no dude like I, I got a wife i respect my wife i love my wife and i don't really like it when my mind is kind of drawn away from that I, I don't like that i try to i try to keep my mind you know where where my wife's at that's 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 me man i i love and respect my wife and i want to keep it that way so i don't subject myself that's why i haven't bought stellar blades is because i don't want to subject myself to that um what's it called i don't i don't want to i don't want to tempt myself i don't i don't want to be like tempted and stuff I, I get it it's a video game but my gosh have you seen freaking eve from stellar blade like <laughs> duh you know i mean like yeah i just don't want to tempt myself like that that's that's kind of dumb but yeah, guys, I would like to see more diversity in games. And, you know, Sony closing down um, Fire Strike today, that, that really sends a shockwave through the gaming industry. I believe that, that, like, look, man, either they learn to express and build their characters in a way that, that people are going to be able to, you know, stomach, or they keep doing what they're doing, and people reject it just out of malice and hate and, and just like, yeah, it's not what we want, so we're going to, you know... If fighting fighting a fire with fire is only going to make it burn hotter and and for some reason it's like these developers are like no man we, we want to we're going to make our point and it's like you're going to lose your jobs nobody's going to buy your stuff you're, you're not going to have a place to work at and then other companies are going to blacklist you because they don't want that taint on their company that they're trying to make money that's the whole point like i like and respect developers and i and, and i and i and and i respect you know that you, you you're you're gay or you're or you're you're transgender or whatever like i respect that but please don't make yourself not have a job because you want to push some stupid political issue that that people are just going to reject and you're just going to be like why are they rejecting it and it's going to create anger in you why why do it why do it I mean, write the characters like if you want to bring that in there, make it make it tasteful, make it cultural, make it like, make it like yeah, like I like somebody like sitting there kind of feeling like oh man, I'm I I don't want to be known as a man, or I want to be a he and a she or something. No, make a confident freaking gay character that that knows their shit and does their thing. It's it's perfectly fine. Like make the character, and and then like yeah, dude, I I don't know, man. Go back to subtle nuances if you have to, but being like in your face we're making a statement is the fastest way to completely tank your company lose your job and lose every because i guarantee you the developers at fire strike right now are probably very sad are probably feeling super defeated and i don't want that for any developer I freaked. I, I mean, I felt bad when Vo Volition got freaking closed down. I like every time one of these studios goes under, I'm like, oh my gosh, man, gaming really is dying. And these guys and my colleagues are doing everything they can in their power to kill it. And nobody's being constructive towards anybody. Nobody's being constructive. Everybody is just, we're coming at you. We're going to make our statement. And then other dudes are like, oh yeah, make your statement and we're going to trash your game. We're not going to buy it. It's going to die and you're going to have no job. And that sucks. That sucks, man. That sucks. It really does suck that the gaming industry is falling as hard as it is right now. It, yeah. Like this sucks, man. Like they're going to force you guys like, uh, yeah, make up your mind, man. I, I just, I just really hope that, I just really hope that Bioware survives this, and I really, you know, hope that, that I, I've, I've seen so many videos in the last few days on this, the whole, the whole Dragon Age thing, and I'm like, my gosh, guys, whoo, man, this sucks, this sucks, it sucks being a gamer right now, and it probably sucks being a developer right now too, you know, just putting all that hard work into something and then it not, it not succeeding, and then losing your job and losing your company and losing everything you've worked so hard to build like i'd be pissed man i'd be pissed so don't do it 
like just know that these guys are only going to get worse and it's only going to get hotter and hotter and hotter and the climate is not going to come back down until everything is destroyed and something raises from the ashes so all right guys maybe that's the plan maybe that's the plan i, I don't know i don't know I keep telling myself, there's no way these developers are that dumb. There's no way they live in that big of a bubble that they cannot freaking see this. There's no way. But then freaking studio after studio, I'm like, dude, you would think one of them would have got the point and been like, oh boy, maybe we should hit the brakes or something, you know, erase Tash like real quick or, you know, I'm not saying erase Tash, that, that, that's messed up, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like maybe re-record the lines or something like a year ago. <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right, guys. Well, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.